Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Judy's Place. Today, guys, we will be having Mugu Ga Pan, which this really means chicken and mushroom stir fry. But you can add whatever kind of vegetables you want in your Mugu Ga Pan. Okay? I'm going to marinate my chicken. And what we're gonna marinate it with is chicken bouillon. I want like a, about a half a, about a, about a half a teaspoon of bouillon in. Now this is a re very good um, oriental meal, but really it's uh, an American meal, okay? Now, I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. The reason why I added just a little bit of uh, the chicken bouillon is because I'm gonna be adding salt. And chicken bouillon is salty. Okay, so here's your salt and pepper here. Okay, and next I'm gonna add garlic powder, about a tablespoon and listen this is going to feed eight people that's why I have so many vegetables and I had those three are uh, chicken breasts I say about seven to eight okay Chinese wine about a teaspoon oil now, I used the canola oil, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil. Soy sauce, which is salty too. I'm adding like a tablespoon. And I'm going to mix it up. And I'm going to add the cornstarch in about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, we're gonna sit this to the side and let it marinate for 30 minutes. Okay? While I tell you about these other vegetables I have, now I have the carrots, about eight ounces of carrots, about 16 ounces of mushrooms. I love a lot of mushrooms. And the um, sugar snap peas, I have eight ounces of sugar snap peas. Now you have to snap them like you're snapping green beans and pull that string off. I've got the... Um, the uh, bean sprouts, bean sprouts here. And I'm losing my voice because I had a little bad cold. I got it from Skylar. So you know children, they, they bring you the gift that just keeps on giving. So I've got uh, sugar snap peas. I've got half a can of those. And one can, one can is uh, 14 ounces, so I got seven ounces of sugar snap, uh, I'm sorry, bean sprouts. I have a small onion, and these are all the vegetables that that's going in this uh, mugu guy pan, okay? So I'll be right back. I'm going to uh, mix up my uh, slurry. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, I have two cups of water. Now, I may not use all of this slurry, but I'd rather have more than not enough. Two cups of slurry, one teaspoon of sugar, four tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to mix it up in there real good.
and you can add a little chicken bouillon, but uh, I'm gonna see what it tastes like before I add all that uh, sodium. Because remember, you, you can't take it away, but you can add. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. Remember, our chicken is still marinating. And I'll be right back. Okay, after 30 minutes of marinating, we're gonna add the chicken. And over in the right-hand side is where I sliced the chicken thinly. I forgot to show y'all. And I think I can put the whole pan in this skillet. Yes, I, uh, I cleaned the chicken off the lemon juice and sliced it thinly. Now we're going to let this chicken marinate, I mean, uh, simmer or saute in the skillet for about Oh, five minutes, five, ten minutes on medium. I'm going to add, add uh, cut it down to medium. And we're going to cook it like 90%. We're not going to cook it all the way. Because it's got to go back in the vegetables. And uh, cook a little bit longer. Okay? After five minutes, I'll be right back. Smells wonderful. Okay, I cooked the chicken just a little bit over its time. I'm gonna take it out of the skillet. It doesn't matter because you can uh, get the vegetables all the way cooked and uh, add the chicken in next, okay? Now we're gonna add just a little bit more oil to the pan. And next we're gonna add the carrots which cause, because it'll take them a little longer to cook. The carrot, and the snow peas. Sugar peas. We're gonna cook them on medium for about maybe, for as long as you want. If you don't want your vegetables too done, I say about five minutes. And if you do want your vegetables a little done, I would say about maybe 10 minutes, okay? And I'm gonna use my handy dandy microwave bowl to put over them so that they can simmer down. And I'm gonna put it on a little before medium. And I'll be right back. Okay, after seven minutes, and I call this a microwave bowl. My microwave plate, I had an old microwave that tore up and I kept the, the top because I don't have a hard top for this. Okay, so after seven to eight minutes, they're still sort of, sort of hard, like, so I'm going to let them cook for about maybe 20 more minutes. Then I'll be back to put my carrots and onions, I mean my uh, onions and uh, mushrooms in. Okay, three more minutes. And the mushrooms in. And onions. And bean sprouts.
And I'm gonna lift this to for another five minutes. It don't take mushrooms long, it don't take onions long. And the bean sprouts are practically almost done. And listen, I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to my vegetables. As much salt as you would like. And as much pepper as you would like. And then I'll be back to put my slurry in. Okay, we're going to stir our slurry up just a little bit more at the bottom. The uh, cornstarch has went to the bottom. And we still have it on medium. I'm going to add the slurry in. A little bit at a time. Some of my peas have busted open. I really like carrots and peas sort of done all the way. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more so that slurry will catch on. Gonna add a little bit more. Since our chicken is all the way done, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken in. Okay, now we got to give our slurry chance enough to uh, thicken. I'm going to add a little bit more in. Okay, I'm going to let it catch up for about maybe two, three minutes. Here is my mugu got pan. It smells wonderful. And I know it's good. Oops. Mm -mm. Delicious. I got a little rice underneath it. Seasoning is wonderful. Subscribe. Like and comment. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Stay humble. And I'll see you after a while. Bye for now.